yesterday, as you're giving, I'll, I'll catch you up. Yesterday, um, we hosted special deliverance training all day long for our members here at SRC. And so we just, it was incredible, uh, the, just, just sowing into people that have made uh, a real commitment here um, at, the, at the church. And lives, lives were changed yesterday. It was, it was, ab- it was absolutely amazing. Um, you guys are going to get to meet um, one, of my, one of my newer friends. And, um, uh, uh, and, and when I say friends, all my friends are like super cool, okay? And so you're going to get to you're going to get to meet a super some super cool people today, and and they're and they're friends of mine. And anyways, there's a church in Belfair, Washington called Sozo Church. They got revival breaking out there. They're seeing signs, wonders, miracles, deliverance. Uh, they're seeing resurrection miracles even. And uh, so you guys, Pastor Tom and Katie are in the house today. Also with them, all the way from West Africa is Prophet Romeo is in the house today with Gerard, glorious Gerard. Would you give a warm, wild SRC welcome to Pastor Tom Cornell as he comes. Hey. Hey. I feel at home, church. I feel at home, church. I feel like I'm around some kingdom people. We got some kingdom people in the house. I want to introduce my uh, wife. This is my wife, Katie. Would you guys say hi to my wife, Katie? Uh, This is Prophet Romeo. Would you guys give it up? Pastor Gerard, would you give it up? My wife and I lead a nonprofit called Walk in the Light International. And uh, we've been uh, working in Burkina Faso for 12 years now. And uh, we're raising an army of people who know who they are as children of God, who will go and storm the darkest places on earth and make it bright like our king. Amen. And so Gerard is our national director. And uh, Romeo is our child sponsorship director. And uh, he's also now um, kind of leading uh, the, the, the Light of Nations Church. We call it Lion Church, um, church planning movement. And uh, we're, we're tired of, of uh, the uh, organization of churches there that want to uh, bore us to death and uh, leave us with no power to, to, to go into dark places. And so we said, let's, let's just build uh, our own churches and let's empower future leaders with power to go and do what Jesus' mandate is on their life, which is the same mandate that's on your life. Uh, I'm, I'm passionate about Jesus, and I don't care if you don't like that. Uh, I once lived in darkness, and I don't anymore. I know what darkness is like, and I'm, I'm, and, and, uh, and I'm in love with Jesus. You know, I got, I got invited to church by my wife, Katie, and uh, she, she didn't know what she was getting into. Uh, maybe she did. I, uh, she met me on a ferry. I had a, a, a shirt on. It had Johnny Cash on it, and he was given the bird. You know, that's how I felt about the world. I had been uh, p- pretty much homeless since I was 14. My house had burnt down. I'm the middle child of 11 and grew up in the hilltop uh, in Tacoma area. And a redheaded kid in that area, it's uh, not as easy as you might think in the 80s. And so I fought every day. I had six brothers, four sisters. We fought back. But then we moved over to Olala. It's the ends of the earth. Don't look it up. And uh, <clears throat> I didn't have sidewalks, nothing. I was like, what is this place? And, uh, and, and I and had, had to fight every single day, fight for a meal, fight for what I was going to wear or what people might say about me. And, I, and then God used it for good. I got invited to church, and I went. Everything I had on me was stolen. My underwear was stolen. You know, it was like my socks were stolen. Everything I had on me was stolen. And I thought, what do these perfect people have to offer me? But I was hoping that maybe there was something there. Because I was filled with so much pain and so much darkness, and I just wanted to be free. I wanted to be free. Church, I'm telling you, I was tired of being tired. I wanted freedom. And so when I got invited to church, I said, yeah, absolutely. I'm tired of nightmares. I'm, I'm tired of have, re-seeing the things that I've been through. I'm tired of it. And I got invited to church, and uh, I should have known. She, she sat in the front row. Something was up. The pastor was her, her uncle, and uh, something was there. I'd never felt it before. Three weeks of being there, uh, my, my roommate at the time was a pimp. He was getting women into trafficking. And uh, I beat the snot out of him one night, my third week into church. And I felt something. I felt something I hadn't felt before, and it was conviction. 
And Katie called me. She said, hey, how's it going? And I said, I don't know. I said, I beat up, beat up Kevin. And now I feel bad for it. I don't know what this is. <laughs> she says, that's the Holy Spirit. I said, the Holy what? She says, that's the Holy Spirit. I said, I heard about Jesus, but I don't know about this Holy Ghost thing you're talking about. And she said, just come to church tomorrow. The whole night, the Lord began to work on me. The Lord began to work on me. Who, who, who are you? Who are you? And I, and I said, I don't know how I've become this person. I don't want to be this person. I got invited into this, this, this church early before uh, the church has started. And I bowed my head and I said, Jesus. And just <laughs> something hit me. And it was the power of God, and I started weeping, 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 weeping. I don't know when the service started nor when it ended. I don't remember any of it. And uh, he began to heal me. He began to heal me. He began to make me whole. He began to deliver me of rage and hatred and, and darkness. And, he, and I remember four months. He did that every week for four months. And on the fourth month, uh, he, 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 he brought up something I didn't want to talk about. Couldn't have brought it up the first week, but he brought it up four months in. After all this healing, all this freedom, all this liberty, he brings up something I didn't want to talk about. I said, no, it's okay. I'm fine. I'm good. He said, no. And he brought it up. And he says, Tom, you don't have to fight anymore. And I broke. Because only God could know I was tired of fighting. Everyone that knew me thought, man, if we're going to get in a fight, I want Tom with me. He don't fight fair. And, it'll be <laughs> and so, but I hated the fact that I had to fight. I was tired of it. And those words broke something and he says I got you I'm your father I got you you don't have to fight anymore and something broke off that day and I was on the ground I couldn't my legs weren't working and the Holy Spirit came on me and I was on the ground and he said get up and I felt the power come on me and I could stand up and I remember reading the scripture later that when he would heal the lame he would and he would just heal someone he wouldn't say be healed he would say get up and from that day, I've been on a journey to bring my God's kingdom to this earth. And to all the nations of the earth, to all the kingdoms of the earth, are the kingdom of my God and your God. Amen? That's the mandate. That's the mandate on my life, but it's the mandate on your life. I'm here to tell you that we don't have priests and then common people. It's the priest of all believers. Jesus said, those who believe in me will do the same works I have done and even greater works. And it's, it's those who know darkness, who have been liberated, who are passionate about liberating those who are still in darkness. Jesus said, the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me. He's anointing me to preach good news to the poor, liberate the captives. Right? This is what I once was. And I'm so grateful that he didn't leave me in darkness. He didn't leave me in chains. But he set me free. And who am I to let others stay in freedom? Jesus says, unless you go and bind the strong man, how can you plunder his goods? Well, Jesus bound the strong man in my life. And I was the goods. I was the goods in the strong man's house. And Jesus set me free. But I ain't just running out of that house. I'm going to set as many people free as I can. I'm going to set as many people free as I can. And that's what he's called me to. But that's what he's called you to. He's given you the power of the living God. He's given you the power of the living God. Some of you need to realize who's with you. Jesus said, behold, I will be with you always, even to the end. How long? How far? To the end, church. You have Emmanuel, God with you, the one who said to nothing be, and it was he lived inside of you. The one who disarmed every principality, shamed every demon on the cross, lives inside of you. He lives inside of you, church. And when I realized that, oh, hell got scared when a believer realizes who they are. You know, the earth says the whole earth is groaning, waiting for the sons of God to manifest. I got to manifest, not a demon, but the Holy Ghost. In the power of the living God. Paul said, yeah, I didn't come with lofty words. I didn't come to, to, sw to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. He said, I came with a demonstration of power. We talk too much, church. We need to renew our minds so that we can prove the will of God. The reason we don't prove the will of God is because we don't think like God. The, but the scripture says that, you know, God's ways are higher than our ways. And then basically, in a sense, we can't think like him. But that was through the Old Testament, church. That's not for you. Because 1 Corinthians chapter 2 says that, that, that he says, no, no eye has seen, no ear has heard the things that God has prepared for those who 
Love him. Oh, church, if you love me, you'll obey my commands and I'll give you my spirit, he said in John 14. Oh, you have the spirit of God? Well, guess what 1 Corinthians chapter 2 says? He says, no one can know a man's thoughts except by his spirit. And no one can know the thoughts of God except by his spirit. And you have not received the spirit of this world. You've received the, his spirit so you can search his mind. He says, you have the mind of Christ. Jesus said in John chapter 5, I don't do what I want to do. I do what I see the Father doing. But you can see what the Father's doing because you have his spirit, church. But are you paying attention? Are you paying attention? Jesus said, those who believe in me will do the same works. He says, these signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons. Anyone cast out any demons this week? They all came with me. Anyone, anyone cast out any demons Amen. I got to dance. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I would like to see every hand in the room lifted by the end of 2021. I, I'm prophesying, church. I, we're going to see in this house every hand raised. When we say in 2021, at the end of the year, did anyone see the dead raised? We would love to see every, every hand raised because we don't run from the dead, but we run to the dead. If we, at the end of 2021, if we would be able to say, anyone see anyone healed this year, I would love to see every hand raised because the power to heal lives inside of you. But are we too, uh, uh, our hearts are too hardened to, to care or even love or stop for someone who's hurting and realize who you are, church. He says that, that they will cast out demons, that they will, they will speak in new tongues. Anyone speak in new tongues? Right, Holy Spirit, tongues, we got any tongue speakers, amen. Fiery people, okay. He says they'll tread over scorpions. These are demonic powers. They'll drink poison, it won't harm them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen? Anyone, anyone see anyone healed in 2020? By your hands, by your prayers? Come on, church! Come on, church. It should be a daily reality. It should be a daily reality. You couldn't pass someone. You know Holy Spirit will lead you. We don't, want to, we don't want some kind of religious thing where we feel the weight of the whole world is on us. It's on him. But he might say, hey, you see that person? And you just move to the left, to the right, forward or back as he tells you. And we just see the kingdom of God begin to take ground. You say there's a whole city that's bound. There's a whole city who's still captive, has got chains on, demonized. But good thing there's a church, a living church, a church that knows who they are, a church who's learning who they are, a church who doesn't want to stay drinking milk, but a church that's ready to eat some meat, a church that's some meat eaters. We got some meat eaters here. In Seattle, that's rare. We got some meat eaters here. Come on. In Belfair, it's normal. We kill what we eat. But here, all right, okay, we got some meat eaters. We're ready to go deeper, move on from, from elementary things like he says, the resurrection of the dead. Apparently, to the writer of Hebrews, that was elementary. So who, what are we? Are we in preschool? We're, we're pre, pre-elementary. Not anymore, church. Not in 2021. We don't have time for that. I love, this, is, this guy's like my brother. We're like cut from the same cloth. Speak the truth. Because we don't need a hybrid seed that makes you feel good about yourself. It won't produce any fruit. We need to speak the truth. Then we have some life. Listen, God is waiting for you. We are waiting for God, but God is waiting for you. The scripture says, he says, go and preach the gospel of the kingdom to the ends of the earth. And then the end will come. We're here waiting for him to come and he's waiting for you. We're waiting for him to come, but he's waiting for you to get up out of your couch and realize you got good news, resurrection news, healing news, deliverance news, salvation news. You have it, church. You have it, church. Last year we planted a church in Belfair. I didn't want to. The Lord wanted to. You know, the Lord called me to Belfair nine years ago. I'm from Tacoma. I don't want to go to Belfair. Again, that's the ends of the earth. I don't want to be there. But the Lord put a mandate on my life to preach the gospel in the darkness. And I said, okay, deal. I ain't scared of the dark. The dark is scared of me. 
Because the light of the world lives inside of me. And those things in darkness don't want to be exposed, but it's time for them to be exposed. It's time for them to be exposed. And so they're being exposed. We started with about three of us that knew how to cast out demons and heal the sick. And now uh, there's probably about 33 of us. And you can't come there without, you know, people try to hide their demons. David Hogan calls them pets. You know, you try to hide your pets. Things that you've allowed in your life that God doesn't want to be in your life. Why? They're just stealing from you, church. They're just stealing from you, church. They'll never, 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 never give. They just take. If they give, it's sickness. It's disease. It's lies. It's not good. So we have to get rid of those things. So you come into the church, and that's the place to be delivered, to be set free, to be healed, to be, to be raised up, to be raised into an army. Not into a, a not, just, you know, we, sometimes people think evangelism is bringing your neighbor's cookies. Okay, whatever. Bring your neighbor's cookies, whatever. But will you be able to bring them the power that can set them free? Yeah. You already have it, church. You already have it, church. But you need to realize you have it. This isn't a thing where Darren and I, we cast out demons and heal the sick and raise the dead. This is a thing where all believers do. To those who believe, they will cast out demons. Any believers here today? Oh, wow. Okay, we got a whole army of deliverance people. And those who believe will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. Any believers here today? Oh, Seattle's in trouble. Satan's in trouble. Satan's in trouble. Anyone here want to be raised up? Anyone here want to know how to raise the dead, cast out demons, heal the sick, preach the gospel of the kingdom? Anyone here? Oh, you're, you're in. Come on. Amen. Well, I want to, I, I believe this. The reason we don't move that way, as I said, is because we don't think like God. But we need to understand the schemes of the devil. He is the power at work to blind those who, who are perishing. Okay, some of them are you. Veil upon veil, lie upon lie. But it's time to break down some strongholds and build a new one. Amen. I want to invite Romeo. My friend, my brother, to come up here and to talk about how to tear down principalities. How to tear down principalities. How to remove veils. How to set the, the church free. How you yourselves can be free. You may have your seats. I thank Pastor Tom so much. And I thank Pastor Darren, you are mighty man of God too. Yes, the anointing of God is upon you. Yes, you are really anointed. Jesus Christ is with you. I want to try to be nice with you. Yes, but in the midst of the time, if I'm not nice, it's not my problem. I want you to really excuse me because I'm anointed as a prophet to share the truth of God. Yes, I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm, I don't know fear. Yes, today we want to share, and I really thank God for what Pastor Tom was saying, to renew the mind. The church is facing a spiritual warfare, a spiritual battle. And this is very important. The Bible says in the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 19, that we know we are for God, but the entire world is ruled by Satan. You will find it there. Then Satan is trying to overrule the nations, the countries. And then in the book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 10, the Bible says God has given to the church a mission to overpower all principalities, all powers. And if you go into the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse 24, the Bible says, when the church will overpower all dominions, all principalities, then the hand will come. We have a mission to go reach the world for Jesus Christ. But actually, Satan is trying to bring strongholds in people's mind. The way people are thinking, we determine the way they are Christians. Actually, we are, we are in words that lead us with, with first and bring us to how to think, how to manage things. But the Bible has the way to think. The kingdom of God has its own mindset. The kingdom of God has its own rules to go to. Actually, you will please some people. They will say, you may try to be nice with us, but... Yes, you need to preach, but don't say this because this offends us. You cannot be in that dimension and still be a Christian. You need to come out of your comfort zone. That's why one God Christ wants to use somebody. One God wants to choose somebody and use him. Sometimes God will break him down. 
and bring him out of his comfort zone. And you will no more touch or you will no more be close to something that you really like. Sometimes God will bring you somewhere and left you out of your, of your house, nice house, nice car. Sometimes I was really mad at God. Why? My, my parents died when I was two years old. I didn't know them until now. I didn't know them. And it was the way so God can teach me about love. So when I, when I grew up and when I was growing, I didn't have any parents. And later on, my mother died when I was younger year. And then when I came to Jesus Christ, I took time to fast. And I said, God, I want to die. I don't want anything in this world. I don't want anything in this world. I want to die. I took three days without eating, without drinking in my small house. I said, Jesus Christ, if you are true, come and kill me. I want to die. And instantly, the power of God entered into my room. I saw a light. And then the voice came. I fell down on the ground. And as I was seeing the, the, the health turning around like this. And I heard the voice saying, you're not going to die. I want to use I said, no, I, want, I don't want to leave. I want to die. I, want, I don't want to leave. I want to tell you, this is real. The Bible is not a historical book. The Bible is not a historical book. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 20, the Bible says, the kingdom of God is not by speaking, but it is by power. But we believers, we try to own ourselves. We try to own ourselves. Keeping ourselves from God to, be, to quicken us. This is not the fourth of the kingdom of God. We need to lose ourselves. And say, give, 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 come and take our life and use it. In whatever you want it to be. I'm ready to go and I'm ready to be used. You know why people see this miracle and sometimes people does not see? Because people do not go. The miracle is not only in the church, it is to go in the land. Go. So you are, you are going to see miracles. You want to see power working. You need to go. Have the heart to go. To look for those who are lost. The Bible says, I'm sending you there. But look at the miracles that are going to follow you. You will heal the sick. Cast out demons. And you catch the snakes. They won't harm you. You will drink some poisonous stuff. They won't kill you. Who are you, church? Who are you, believer? Where is your comfort zone? Come out of your comfort zone. Come out of that. Don't feel comfortable. The only way for you to feel comfortable is God is in your life. Is God using you? Is God using you? Where is Jesus Christ into the center of your life? This is very important. But actually... The kingdom of the darkness, they try to use people to give us some kind of thinking and put us on some kind of comfort zone. And we, many times we say, but this is not for me. I don't like this one. Not, you don't like, you don't quite like it. And says, you are a believer. You need to let yourself and die. Give him the first place. The Bible says in the book of Luke 9, 61, it says, the one who plug and he want to cultivate and still looking backward, he's not for the kingdom of God. Luke 9, 61. If you want to follow Jesus Christ, says, get ready and go. Get ready and go. Man of God, people of God, this earth is not our dwelling place. We are going to live poor or rich, whatever you are. Who will you be in the throne of God? Who are you going to be? The Bible will say, you faithful, faithful servant. The Bible will say, some people, I don't know you. People of God, this earth is not a dwelling place. Satan is trying, you know, in the Bible, Satan does not care how rich or how poor we are. Satan does not care. He cares the one who has the power. He cares the one who has the, 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 the mindset of the kingdom of God. This one, the Satan care. Satan does not care who you are, how nice I am, how nice I am, how, how powerful I am, how rich I am. Satan does not care. Satan said to Jesus, if you believe to me, and you bow down to me, I will give you all the riches of this world. And Jesus Christ says, no, it is written, I need to, to bow down before God, Jesus Christ, and serve him. Man of God, people of God, you need to change the way you, you are thinking. Change the way you are thinking. This is a key point. Change the way. Don't own yourself. Humble yourself. Bow down. We are flesh and bones. And we cannot take everything to heaven. The only thing we can take to heaven is how God has used our life. How people, they have their tears wiped because of you. How souls came to the kingdom of God because of you. How is the power manifesting through you to save people? You know, they had some darkness. They, they need power for you to stand. 
So the darkness will leave your country. The darkness will leave the, the, the city. Yes! You need to stand with power. But how the power will come? Starting by bringing your father. Because the power of the Holy Spirit works with the conscience. In the book of Romans 9, verse 2, the power of the Holy Spirit, it works with the conscience. But as soon as you are still slave in your conscience, only yourself, and you, you, you pick up something that you like, and you don't like this one, you won't move in power. You need to let yourself free so, so Jesus Christ can use it. Yes! So Jesus Christ can use your life. And then when we move on deep, we are going to see when God calls Elisha, Elisha knows that God wants to use him. He kills all the animals. That means he said, the past, goodbye. He said to the past, goodbye. And he said, I'm going to front. I'm going to go, no matter what. For you today, the past is the past. From now, you, need to, you may need to pray and cry. You know, actually, the church is like dying. Not dying, he's like. Because people go the way incorrect. The way to pray. Look at the way people are praying. We are praying with selfishness. We are praying with proud. Jesus Christ, you are Lord. You may pray like Jesus Christ is your power. Your girlfriend or boyfriend. Jesus, you are Jesus, you are Lord. Jesus, you died in the cross for us. This is not a Bible called the Bible prayer. This is not a Bible prayer. If you take the book of Hebrews, chapter 5, verse 7, you will see the Bible prayer. Jesus Christ, the one who came to save us, how he prayed. If you read in the Apostles, Jesus Christ said, Father, Holy Father, come down. Come, wake me out. Raise me out of the dead. Jesus was praying, 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 praying. He was praying like that. It is foulness. And sometimes it will, make, it will look like uh, crazy stuff. God says, it pleased God to save us with the foolishness. Yes. And as soon as we are still going in our own way, we, we, we may think that we are, we, are, we are smart. God says, this is the foolish guy. The kingdom of God works with foolishness. That you may pray, 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 until the fire come. Yes. Yes. You need to pray. That's why last month, two people came back to life. Two people. I will tell you, in my house, I turned my house to a prayer room. Because people that not want power. You know, in the power, if in the church, some church, not all the church, if somebody moves in power, they don't like it. When people, when I turn my house to prayer room, people are coming to receive prayer. One young lady with a pregnant, like eight, eight month pregnant, she came and she died. When, when I was manifesting, praying, and the power of God is moving, I'm, I can see all the chest is moving. All the chests are mixed. People shouting, demons coming out. I, I, I heard, come, man of God, come here, come here, come here, come here. When I quickly went, I saw she passed away. She died in my house. I could be in problem, in difficulty. I would go to prison. And I said, here, it is not a graveyard. You may go somewhere and die there, not in my house. It's better for you to go somewhere. If you want, die there. If you don't want to stay alive. But in my house, you will not put me in problems. And I start to pray. I start to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. And I shake the body. I was shaking the body. Ah. The body. I say, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. One hour. Going more than one hour. Shaking the body. Shaking the body. Shaking the body. Shaking the body. Check in the body. I said, stand up. Oh, she woke up. <laughs> Once she woke up, later on, she went again. I said, no, 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 come back. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. Stay with us. Praying, praying. When she woke up finally, she was not connected to us. She was, I'm seeing white people. Le leave me, leave me, leave me. This is white people. I'm seeing white people. Leave me. I said, why, where is your white people? She don't understand what I'm speaking. She was already connected to, to heaven. Yes. 
and the baby that lose the hair, the hair, started to manifest. And it was painful. She was picking, and has, she has pain. She picked up the right hand and put on the baby. And she's picking, leave me, leave me, leave me. The second resurrection. When one young lady heard that God rose somebody from a dead, her husband has an accident, terrible accident. And the husband died in the coma. And then she asked somebody to pick her up. Then he got picked up and they came in my house. Quickly. I was about to go out. You know, they, 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 they think the fourth of the kingdom of God will may ask you to have compassion for somebody and let down your own tough. Let down your own tough. Jesus Christ, what did Jesus Christ throw out in the miracles? It is by compassion. But he, Jesus Christ saw one child of the widow died when he wanted to, to go into the city. He said, where are you going with the child? And the people say, this is the only one son of the widow. And Jesus Christ said, let down the, 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 the child. And he woke him up. This is the kingdom of God faff. When the lady came, I was about to go out. She like, please, please, please help me. Help me. I said, what is this? Be calm. I said, no, I can't be calm. My husband died. Quickly, I don't know what to do. I know, I know how somebody lose his father or his mother. It touched me in the moment. I said, what is this? I said, please help me. Please help me. Please help me. I said, okay. In the instant, God give me a faff. And I asked to her, what is the name of your husband? And she told me the name. And then in the center instant, I became to, the, the, the kingdom of God mind came into me. And I stand to be in the prayer posture. The prayer has the posture. There, there's something, if you hear, you need to stand and pray. I was praying, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I prayed until I had the conviction in me. That something happened there. And I said to her, go. Go, your husband is alive. When she arrived, she called me. Yes, hey, man of God. Yes, yeah, man of God. <laughs> yes, yeah, man of God. Yes, yeah, man of God. Yes, yeah, man of God. I want to tell you, the power of God is going to touch you today. If you let yourself empty and you may desire the power of God, it's available. Only one touch, you receive it. Yeah, we didn't come to talk about the kingdom. We came to demonstrate the kingdom. Amen? Yes. Will you stand up, church? We want to pray for you. We believe this, that the church is what the world needs. God's solution to a broken, bound world Hallelujah. was a free church. But we need some freedom today. Who needs some freedom today? Who needs some freedom today? We're here to, 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 to release people from, from veils, to release people from powers of darkness, to set some captives free so you can be those who go and set captives free. Amen. Freely give as you have freely received. So I want you to say this with me, church. Say, Jesus, you are king. You are my king. You died for me. Your blood has paid for my sins. Forgive me of all sin. Lord, you forgave me. I choose to forgive everyone of every sin they've committed against me. I set them free like you set me free. Thank you, Jesus. Now I want to speak to veils. You say, hey, you demonic veil. You're not for me. Right now, be removed. Be removed. Be removed. Now I'm going to pray for you. Right now I release fire. I release fire. I release fire upon every veil. I release fire upon every veil. Can I get my team to come forward? I release fire upon every veil. I speak to every demonic veil in this room over God's people. I command you to be consumed by the fire of the living God. Right now, right now, right now be removed. The people of God shall see they shall know, they shall perceive, they shall understand the kingdom. They shall hear their father's voice. I command ears to be opened right now, right now in the spirit to hear their father's voice, to see what their father's doing. Be opened in Jesus' name. Now we're going to bind demons. No, oh, we're going to bind some demons. Right now I bind every demonic power in this room. Every lying spirit, I bind you. I bind every lying spirit in this room right now. 
we're going to speak, speak to fear. Say, fear, you demon. You don't belong to me. I bind you in Jesus' name. And I command you out of my life. Come up and go to the pit in Jesus' name. Begin to speak out, 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 out. Get out of my life. Right now I command fear to get out of their life. I release fire upon fear. I release fire upon fear. Keep praying, church. Tell it to leave, church. I release fire on fear. I release fire on fear. I release fire on fear. If you're beginning to have something manifest, you can feel tension. You can feel something rise. I want you to come forward. They're going to pray for you. I speak to infirmity. Say, infirmity. You don't belong to me. I bind you. And I command you to the pit. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Now I'm going to pray for you. Fire on infirmity. 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 I release fire in the spiritual realm across this room right now. Every spirit of infirmity, we command you to let God's people go. You don't belong to them. You demons, you don't belong to them. Get out of their life in Jesus' name. Out of their life in Jesus' name. Get out of their life in Jesus' name. Now I'm going to speak to doubt. Listen, if you still know that fear has been reigning over your life, over your family, and you feel it, it hasn't left, speak to it. If you know infirmity, you know anxiety, begin to tell it to leave. But I'm going to speak to doubt. I feel doubt in this room. Oh, doubt, you're not for God's people. These are people of faith. So I speak to doubt. Say, doubt. We bind you. You're not for us. Get out of our life. Go to the pit. Come out. Go. 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 I release fire. I release fire. I release fire upon doubt. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. I command every demonic power, I command every demonic power to be bound to come out of God's people. Come out of God's people. Come out of God's people. I speak to every demonic power. I command you, get out of God's people. Anxiety, I command you, leave. Leave. I release fire. I release fire upon anxiety. I release fire upon depression. I release fire upon depression. I release fire upon the spirit of death. I command all of you, out, out, out. Come out of God's people right now. We command you to the pit, to the pit. I speak to addiction. Oh, I speak to addiction. You demon, you've destroyed one too many people. It's time for you to go to the pit. It's time for you to be destroyed. I bind addiction. I bind addiction. I command it out, out, out to the pit, to the pit. I don't care what you've been doing. You're going to the pit. Out, out. If you feel something rise, keep praying. Say out, 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 out. Keep praying, church. Keep praying, church. Now I want to speak to you. We need freedom, church. We need a freedom, church. We can't set others free if we're not free. If you know there's something, something in your life that's been coming against you, you speak to it by name. I don't care what it is. If it's lust, if it's lust, an addiction to pornography, or just weird thoughts, sexual thoughts that attack you, you say, lust, I bind you. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Listen, deliverance is not for the proud. It's for the humble. It's for the humble. It's for the humble. So we can't worry about dignity right now. We're too excited about freedom to worry about dignity. Oh, we command every but demonic spirit in this room. We release fire all over every demonic's power. Come out of God's people. Let my people go, says the Lord. I release fire, fire, fire. 
Jezebel, fire all over you. Baal, fire all over you. We release fire all over you. Mischief, fire all over you, mischief. Fire all over you, mischief. We bind every power of darkness. We speak to every witch. We speak to every warlock that thinks they can walk into the house of God and cause any problems. We bind your powers. We bind your powers. We bind your powers. And we release a sword in the spirit to pursue you, to pursue you until you leave and let you, you let go of your attack upon God's church. Fire, fire, fire. Listen, pray. Church, intercede for these people. Intercede for these people as if they were your parents, as if they were your spouse, as if they were your children. Intercede, church. I release fire. I release fire. I release fire. I release fire. I release fire upon every demonic spirit. You've tormented God's people too long. It's time for you to get judgment. Judgment. Judgment for the wicked. You spirits. You will not, you will not destroy God's people. You will be destroyed to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit. I speak to the spirit coming against God's people's finances, coming against their finances. You spirits, I bind every spirit coming to steal. The God, the, the, you, you mammon, you spirit of mammon, you demonic power, we bind you. We bind you. We command you to the pit. Out, 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 out. Get out of God's people. 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 Let God's people go. We release fire, 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 fire upon lust, fire upon death, fire upon suicide. We bind suicide. We bind the spirit of death. We bind the spirit of, of lust. We command you to the pit. Let God's people go. Fire, 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 fire. We break every generational curse. Jesus died on a tree to become a curse, to break your curses. So you say every curse. Say it, church, every curse. Speaking against my life. Be broken by the blood of Jesus. The curse be undone, Re be removed from my family, from my body, from my life, and go, 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 go. Keep praying, church. Keep praying, church. Keep praying, church. Begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit. I bind every Every homo spirit, the spirit who comes to tell a man to love a man, spirit that comes to tell a woman to love a woman, I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. I command you, let God's people go. Let God's people go to the pit, 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 to the pit. Shaka rababa, 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 karababa, so rababa. Karababa, elababa, korababa, sorababa, karababa, sokoraba, elababa, korababa. Fire, fire across this room, fire across this room. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of freedom and healing. Today I release healing, 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 freedom, freedom, fire. Fire, 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 fire across this room, fire across this room, fire across this room, fire across this room. Le borobo sukura bababa, e paraba siki arababa, e paraba basiki arababa, oh rababa siki arababa, e paraba, e paraba basiki arababa, to 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 to, e I bind the spirit of Baal. That spirit that comes to cause miscarriages, that spirit that comes to cause people to worship demonic powers, I bind you right now. I command you to come up and out of God's people, and we command you to the pit, to the pit, 
to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit. Out! Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. I speak to every demonic power. I bind you right now. I don't care who you are or how long you've been in these people. I command you to be bound right now. I command you to be bound right now. I command you to be bound right now. I command every strong man ruling in God's people to be bound right now. I command you up and out, 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 out of their blood. Come out of their blood. Come out of their stomachs. Come out of their body. Come out, out of their eyes, out of their ears, out of their body. Every demonic power, fire, 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 fire. Every body, we bind every demonic power. We command you to leave God's people. Leave God's people. I release fire on every demonic spirit. We command you, you leave God's people. If you feel something rise, just come forward, keep praying. Say, get out of my life. 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 I speak to every spirit that causes people to lie or to steal. I bind you and I command you out of God's people. Out, 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 out to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit. I speak to every unclean spirit, every unclean spirit of perversion. I bind you. I command you, loose God's people. Loose God's people. Loose God's people to the pit. To the pit. I speak to every religious spirit. You religious spirit, I bind you right now. Across this room, I bind every religious spirit. And I command you, come up and out of God's people. Up and out of God's people. To the pit. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Keep, keep praying church keep praying keep praying for these people keep praying keep praying any people that were a part of the training yesterday if you were a part of the training yesterday I want you to come and stand with one of these people and join with them praying. Join with them praying. Join with them. If you were part of the training yesterday, come forward. Join Gerard. Join Katie. Join Ben. Join Romeo. Join Sarah. Join Darren. Join with you, your leaders. Begin to join with them and pray. Agree with their prayer. Command forces of darkness to come off the people. We command every demonic power to be bound. Every demonic spirit be bound. I speak to every python spirit. I bind the python spirit. I bind the python spirit. I release fire upon the python spirit. I command that spirit to come up and out of God's people. Up and out. Up and out to the pit. 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 Every unclean spirit. Fire on every unclean spirit. Fire on unclean spirit. Fire. 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 I speak to the spirit of fatigue, the spirit of fatigue. I bind the spirit of fatigue. I bind the spirit of fatigue all across this room. And I command you come up and out of God's people. Come up and out of God's people to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit, to the pit. To the pit. Toro do do siki arada da 
He parababa siki ya rababa. He rababa siki ya rababa. I cover this place in the blood of Jesus. I cover this blood in the this place in the blood of Jesus. No unclean thing shall leave this place and go anywhere except the pit. To the pit. I call upon angels of deliverance. Angels of deliverance. More angels of deliverance. To rababa siki ya rababa baba siki ya rababa. Those who are waiting for prayer, if you're waiting for prayer, be praying in the Spirit. Be praying in the Spirit or saying, every unclean thing, come out, come out, come out, come out. Command every unclean thing to let God's people go. Come out of God's people. Come out of God's people to the pit. 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 Fire. 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 Keep praying, church. Keep praying, church. If you still need freedom, if you still need freedom, come forward. Deliverance is for the desperate. It's for the desperate. It's for the desperate to so come forward. If you don't need prayer, but you are blessed, bless you. Praise God. I want anyone and everyone that doesn't need prayer to stand up. I want to pray a blessing over you. And I want to release you. I want to release you. We will be back tonight at 6, and we're going to have more of our team here. We'll have a whole bunch of people here to pray for you. Bring people that you know need freedom. We're going to see signs and wonders. We'll just be free to get in the glory. If you know someone that needs freedom, you bring them tonight. Okay? I'm going to have a, a bunch of my team from the church come out and join us. We'll have even more people. So bring them in. Bring them in. They might come in captives, but they're going to leave free. Amen. All right. If you're, if you're ready to go, you don't need prayer, lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. Father God, I thank you for your people, and I ask that you bless them and that you keep them. You keep them, Lord. Protect them. I ask, Lord, that you make your face shine upon them. They would shine bright because your face shines upon them. I ask that you give them your grace, an increase of grace, an increase of grace, an increase of grace. I ask God, lead them by your spirit and by your voice. And I ask, fill them with your peace and your power in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I hope you guys have an amazing week. If you don't need prayer, you are free to go. Come back tonight if you need more prayer or if you know someone that needs prayer, 6 o'clock, we'd love to pray for you. Other than that, God bless you. God bless you. If you want to stay and intercede, keep interceding. Keep interceding.